Welcome to Goalie's PIP Academy. Imagine a machine so powerful it can pull equipment weighing as much as five elephants. A vehicle with tires taller than you are that can drive through mud, climb steep hills, and work from sunrise to sunset. These incredible machines help grow the food that ends up on your plate every day. We're talking about tractors, the superheroes of the farming world. These amazing vehicles have transformed how we grow food, build things, and take care of our land. Tractors might look simple from the outside, just a big vehicle with huge tires, but they're actually engineering marvels designed to be incredibly versatile and tough. The word tractor comes from a Latin word that means to pull, and that's exactly what tractors do best. They pull all kinds of equipment across fields to help farmers plant seeds, grow crops, and harvest food. Tractors come in many different shapes and sizes, from small garden tractors you might see in someone's backyard to enormous agricultural monsters with tires taller than a grown adult. Most farm tractors fall into a few main categories. There are utility tractors, which are medium-sized and can handle many different jobs around a farm. Row crop tractors are designed specifically for working in fields where crops are planted in straight rows. Orchard tractors are narrower and built to navigate between trees without damaging them. And industrial tractors are built for construction work rather than farming. But no matter what size or type, all tractors share some key features that make them special. Let's start with what makes tractors move. They're powerful engines. Tractor engines are similar to car engines in some ways, but they're designed for maximum pulling power, called torque, rather than speed. While your family car might be built to drive fast on highways, tractors are built to pull heavy loads at slower speeds. Most modern tractors use diesel engines, which are more powerful and fuel efficient than the gasoline engines in most cars. A tractor's engine can range from about 15 horsepower in a small garden tractor, that's about the power of 15 horses, to more than 600 horsepower in the largest farm tractors. That's enough power to run a small village. The power from the engine flows through a special transmission, the part that changes gears, kind of like on a bicycle, but much more complex. Tractor transmissions have many more gears than cars. Some have up to 24 different gear combinations. Another special feature is the hydraulic system. Hydraulics use fluid under pressure to lift heavy implements, steer the tractor, or provide extra power where needed. It's like having super strength that can lift thousands of pounds with just the touch of a finger. Time for our first quiz. Are you ready? Multiple choice question. What does the word tractor mean? A, to fly, B, to eat, C, to sleep, D, to pull. Is your little one working on finding their words? You're not alone in this journey. At Goalie, we've developed a speech and language system to support early learners. Our goal, to help kids learn their first 50 words. Here's what makes Goalie special. Interactive apps designed by expert speech therapists we make ad-free content like this one to support our learning, and our app for parents lets you track your child's progress. Every child develops at their own pace, and Goalie is here to provide that extra boost. Our system has already helped thousands of families across America to support their children's communication skills. Visit getgoalie.com today and use the code YouTube10 for 10% off your first purchase. Again, that's getgoalie.com to give your learner a boost in speech. If you said D, to pull, then well done. That's right. The word tractor comes from a Latin word that means to pull. And that's exactly what tractors do best. Now let's explore how tractors actually work in the fields. The real magic of tractors happens when you connect various implements to them. Implements are the tools and equipment that attach to tractors to perform specific jobs. There are hundreds of different implements for different tasks. At the back of most tractors is a three-point hitch, a standardized connecting system with three connection points that form a triangle. This clever design allows implements to be raised and lowered using the tractor's hydraulic system. 
and it keeps implements stable as they're pulled across bumpy fields. This system was invented by an engineer named Harry Ferguson in the 1920s, and it revolutionized farming by making it much easier to connect and use different implements. The design was so good that eventually almost all tractor manufacturers, including companies like John Deere, adopted this system. Some of the most common implements you'll see attached to tractors include plows for turning over soil, seeders for planting, sprayers for applying fertilizer or pest control, and harvesters for collecting crops. Modern tractors are becoming increasingly high-tech. Today's tractors often feature air-conditioned cabs with comfortable seats, radio, and even refrigerators to keep farmers comfortable during long workdays. But the technology goes far beyond comfort features. Many new tractors have computerized systems and GPS guidance that can steer the tractor with incredible precision, sometimes with accuracy to within one inch. Some advanced tractors can even drive themselves using autopilot systems, with the farmer monitoring the controls rather than actively steering. Tractors have come a long way since the first models appeared in the late 1800s. The earliest tractors were essentially steam engines on wheels, enormous heavy machines that required constant attention and burned wood or coal for fuel. By the early 1900s, gasoline-powered tractors began to replace horse-drawn equipment on farms, dramatically increasing how much food a single farmer could produce. One of the most famous early tractors was the Fordson Model F, produced by Henry Ford starting in 1917. It was the first mass-produced, affordable tractor, and it helped transform farming at a time when many people were leaving farms to work in cities. Time for our second quiz. Ready, true, or false? Modern tractors often use GPS technology to help farmers work more precisely. If you said true, then well done. That's right. Tractors don't just work on farms. They're used in many different settings. Compact utility tractors help maintain parks, sports fields, and large lawns. Construction companies use industrial tractors with backhoes and front-end loaders to dig foundations and move earth. Forestry operations use specialized tractors to navigate between trees and move logs. Even airports use tractors to move baggage carts and aircraft. There are even tractors that are operated by remote control or completely autonomously without a driver at all. These autonomous tractors represent the future of farming, making agriculture even more efficient and sustainable. Speaking of sustainable, many tractor manufacturers are developing electric and hybrid tractors that use less fuel and produce fewer emissions. Just like electric cars, these tractors use batteries and electric motors either alongside or instead of diesel engines. Tractors are built to last a long time. With proper care, many tractors can work reliably for 15 to 20 years or more. Some vintage tractors from the 1940s and 1950s are still operating on farms today. Okay, time for our last quiz. Are you ready? Multiple choice question. How long can a well-cared-for tractor last? A, one to two years, B, five years, C, 15 to 20 years or more, D, only until the next rain. If you said C, 15 to 20 years or more, then well done, that's right. With proper care, many tractors can work reliably for 15 to 20 years or more. The next time you see a tractor working in a field or the next time you enjoy a meal, remember the crucial role these amazing machines play in producing our food. From the bread in your sandwich to the vegetables on your plate, tractors helped grow almost everything we eat. And who knows, maybe someday you'll operate one of these incredible machines yourself, whether as a farmer growing food, a construction worker building structures, or an engineer designing the next generation of smart, sustainable tractors that will help feed our growing world. Is your little one working on finding their first words? You're not alone in this journey. 
At Goalie, we've developed a speech and language system to support early language learners. Our goal is to help kids learn their first 50 words. Here's what makes Goalie special. First is, we have interactive apps designed by expert speech therapists. We make ad-free content like this to support learning. And lastly, our app for parents lets you track your child's progress. Every child develops at their own pace, and at Goalie, we're here to provide that extra boost. Our system has already helped thousands of families across America support their kids' communication needs. Visit getgoalie.com and use code YouTube10 for 10% off your first purchase. Again, that's getgoalie.com to give your learner a boost in speech.